Hello everyone. Welcome back for... Let, let's go ahead and finish this game out, shall we? This part is kind of embarrassingly easy because there's a very specific thing they did not take into account that they really should have. I won't need it, but I'm going to go ahead and grab it anyway. The small weapon power up. Eh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's useless. Okay, so... This is going to be kind of embarrassingly easy if I don't mess it up horribly. It's very possible to mess this up horribly. Come on, pop out, please. Now we hop on the jet. And, um... He has a very hard time actually hitting us. And we can just whittle him down like this. That this is not the embarrassingly easy part. Because that... Because, I mean, of course, not the real boss. Not the real boss. But, um... No, no, no. I'm putting these in one package just because of... You're probably going to get a chuckle if you did not know what I'm about to do. Because I need Rush Jet. I need Shadow Blade, Rush Jet. I don't need Rush Jet here. Let's go ahead and grab the extra life, even though I'm pretty sure I have already won the game. Anything else? Okay, Rush Jet's almost full. Fine. We will refill Shadow Blade. Pick up that useless thing. And I've already got nine E tanks. I won't need them. All we gotta do get down under this guy, and he can't really hit us. He can't bump, go straight down. So, first, we do this. Wily's gonna come down, quickly pull up the jet. Probably take a hit or two doing this. Or, or not. We pull out the top spin. And one shot freaking Wily. That's game! That is game. So, now we have an ending. The last two stages took less than four minutes. And oh no, mystery... Brodo Man. That's what I'm gonna call him, Brodo Man. Yeah! And you can probably hear my daughter talking in her room very loudly to her friends. So now we're going to get to see all the robots ever made by Dr. Light or Wright, depending on which translation and all that you're looking at. And of course, these are the robots from Mega Man 1. Timber felling, ground clearing, Roll, being the housekeeping robot we, we never see. Well, we do kind of see a Mega Man. 
because we played N Zero Proto Man, the brother of Mega Man. The first time you see his name all game. And he, his head's in the sky, and there's something up in a tree up there. Maybe it's a Pokeball. I don't know. And you get this nice, upbeat, jaunty tune as we see. I don't, I mean, I'm going to guess that these were the main uh, people behind the designs of the robots. Yeah, that was Mega Man 3. I prefer Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 is a little more challenging in places. Even if they did kind of screw up and make the metal blade, you know, kind of broken in Mega Man 2. It's not nearly as broken as the top spin is. Even though the top spin is kind of wonky, if you can figure out what you're doing with the top spin, it is, a mo it is the most amazing weapon in the game. It will one-shot almost any enemy in the freaking game, including the goddamn in boss. Metal Blade wouldn't do that, but yeah, there, there's a story that they were kind of getting close to release. They needed one last boss, so they went to lunch, and this, this story was told to me by uh, Lantern, who I'm not sure on his sources. You can bother JK Lantern, you can bother him, see what sources he got these from. But it's actually kind of believable that they were at crunch time, they needed a new robot master, they were having a hard time coming up with one. So they went to lunch to kind of clear their minds and get a change of scenery. And they scribbled down all these really, really neat ideas they had for a robot master on a napkin. So. They finish lunch, they're happy, they've got the ideas, and then they kind of look at each other and go, where's the napkin? And then they realize they threw away the napkin. So they had to rush even harder to figure out what their boss should be, and the only thing they could come up with was a child's top, that's top man, and figure out what the hell power-up he was supposed to give you. I'm guessing he was supposed to be more plant-themed, given that the level looks like they're growing plants inside terrariums all over the place. But... Didn't work. Because they lost their napkin. Supposedly. I mean, that I have no idea how true that story is. At all. But there you go. And let's see. Nope, I can do nothing from here. This is indeed our end screen. There are also a bunch of other glitches in this game. Like, if you have a second controller plugged in, you can hold buttons on it to freeze enemies or give yourself a super jump that gives you invincibility if you die in a pit and are very quick getting back out. Yeah, it's, it's funny. You can actually walk around with zero energy and you'll until you actually pick up a health pickup, you're invincible. So, I mean, I don't know if the spikes would kill you. I've never checked into it. But there you go. So, this has been Let's Play Mega Man 3. Mostly Deathless. 
Not exactly deathless. I had a few careless things here and there, but I also had more than enough lives left. So, pretty soon, like the next Mega Man upload, the next Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday upload, should be Mega Man 4. Hopefully, that goes just as smoothly as this does. I hope. Because this has been a pretty quick, pretty quick let's play to actually do. But anyway, yeah, that, that's... I'm rambling now. I, I'm, I know I ramble a lot, but I'm rambling now. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you'll stick around for when I get to Mega Man 4. And after that... Oh, yeah. Probably more Dragon Warrior. So anyway, take care everyone. I will see you back next time for more. Later all.